Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called a Skyblock. So what this does, it brings you the Skyblock minigame to your server multiplayer and there's so many features that I like about this plugin. With this plugin you can have challenges for the players. Each individual player can set up their own island. They can invite players. You can change the biome of each island. There's a rank system and there's a shop. So it's a really all around Skyblock plugin. I highly recommend watching this tutorial and getting this for your server. Alright, with that being said, just click on the link in the description, then click download now. So once you have that, just hit keep and drag this plugin inside of your plugins folder. Once it's in there, go ahead and start up your server. Alright, and keep in mind guys, you're going to need vault and essentials for this to work, so make sure you have those. That will be in the description, both of those plugins, so make sure you have it. Alright, so once your server is started up, you can go inside of your server folder and you should see two new worlds. That's just for the plugin, so you can leave that there, but inside your plugins folder, you should see the new folder called a skyblock. So open that up, and you should see a whole bunch of stuff that you can change. There's going to be some stuff that I'm going to go over with you guys, and then some stuff that I won't. So first... And foremost, we're going to start off with the config.yml, so right click on that, hit edit with notepad or notepad++. Okay, so zero is if you don't want anything, any C or anything like that. But if you increase the number and make it less than about 10, then the players will drop right through the C because that will generate a C. It's more for the looks because the C doesn't affect their gameplay and when they fall through it, they'll just die. Okay, so the island level, that's how high it is, how many blocks high it is. The world name, you can change that if you want, but since it's already been generated, I wouldn't really worry about that. The control panel is a GUI with many useful commands that your players can use, so you can decide whether or not you want that or not. Create nether if you want a nether world. Reset wait, how long a player must wait before they can reset their island again. That's kind of a good rule so they don't create many islands and spam your whole server with a bunch of islands. How many resets are allowed? You don't want them to reset and screw up and create too many bad islands for you. Damage ops, ask damage, so you guys can go through the rest of them, starting money, basically how much money they'll have when they first get on their island. So that is basically, most of these are pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go through it all. Here are the biomes that you can use when creating an island. So once you're done, make sure you save it, and then now we're going to go into the challenges. Just take a look at the challenges that they have. So if they complete these challenges, then they'll get rewards, obviously. You can change the rewards, the items that they need, stuff like that. Pretty simple. And when you type the slash C command, it'll open up a GUI showing you all the challenges. So when it says icon, this item will represent that challenge inside the GUI. So pretty cool. They'll get this amount of money reward and XP reward. Set a permission reward, so if they complete this challenge, you can also give them a permission and yep that's how that works you can change the name of the challenges too if you want and you can also just create your own if you copy the format of these challenges and just change the information around so make sure you save that when you're done you can go in the control panel basically like I said when you type slash C you'll see a GUI so in the first slot technically zero you'll see this grass and it will have go to your island and the command is actually island go. So I'm going to go back to the config and enable the user panel or the control panel I mean just so I can show you guys what that looks like when our server started up. So there we go we can go in the mini shop and then you can see the items that are for sale and you can actually create your own just copy the template hit copy backspace all the way change it to six and you can sell something else like grass or something Make sure you type it just how it's typed before, like all the rest. There's already grass there, but I'm just going to leave it how it is. And then there we go. So you can create your own shop. So this plugin is highly, really, really customizable, which I like. And you can change the messages and anything else. But that's enough that I'm going to show you guys. Now I'm going to show you guys how to set it up on your server. Alright guys, so the command that the players have to use when wanting to create an island is just slash island. So that will just create the island. But now, before I do that, I'm going to go into the control panel that the players can use. So it's a really cool GUI that they can use. So just type slash island cp. So there we go. As you can see now, it just has really useful. It just makes everything so easy. So they don't have to remember any commands but the slash island cp command. So obviously you can see all the stuff that they have here. Really, really, really cool. So now we're going to type the slash island command. And this will create our island for us. There we go, a little welcome sign, and then here's our normal stuff. 
and even a cow, that's nice. So now I'm gonna type island CP, and then we can see a bunch of stuff. You can change biome to whatever you want, of course it costs money, which is the cool part about this plugin, so I have to work for their money. So this right here is my island. We can actually make a spawn island if we wanted to. So we could change everything around, and then if you wanted to set this, as a spawn point where the players go to. You can just type the command slash as admin set spawn. So there we go, the island has been converted to a spawn point. All right, so that's how we do that. Now if you wanted to undo it, you can just go slash as admin register and point this to a player, so like yourself or another player, you could do that and just hit enter. And there we go. And if we want to invite other players to our island, we can just type slash island invite and then type their player's name. But also you can make it really easy for players. If you want other players to be able to come on your island, you can just get a sign out, place it on the ground, and then on the first line put bracket in all caps, welcome, and then close bracket. And there we go. If it's green, then it worked. And now players can just type the command slash island warps. And then there we go, that's the following warps that you're able to visit. So you can visit these islands that it has. So you can just type the command slash island warp numero uno, oh god, numero uno baby. And there we go, I'll be warped right here to this island. So a pretty cool feature. And if you don't want people to visit your island, you can just destroy the sign. There we go. Alright, so that is it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's a really awesome plugin. And uh, if you like the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Peace out, guys.